hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to talk about the accounting cycle which is the stages that needs to be covered or followed in the process of recording transactions in the books of the business the first stage in the accounting cycle is a transaction which is the action of buying and selling that happens at a certain time which means if you buy something and the other person sells something to you at that particular moment that whatever action is happening is called a transaction now with an example here if we look at our customer the customer is going to buy something from our seller the seller is selling fruits okay now the customer would buy an apple and then he receives the apple and he will pay the money to the seller now what have just happened there now is a transaction so a transaction have just happened now the next thing on the accounting cycle is source document source document is a proof that the transaction took place which means if you buy something or sell something you need to give a paper a certain paper that indicates that yes indeed a transaction happened so in this case our customer would receive a source document now we record this source documents in the books of first entries you see all the receipts must be recorded in the books of first entry or the books of the business and some of the examples of books of first entries we have a cash book and petting cash book next thing the information must be posted to the ledgers account so the fourth thing in the accounting cycle is ledgers of which one example of the ledgers we have general ledgers individual accounts and then the information will be the information will be then transferred to a trial balance now the main reason for drawing up a trial balance is to check the correctness of your recordings in terms of the number if all the amounts were recorded uh, are correctly and also to check the side if the accounts were recorded on the correct side either debit side and credit side and these two sides need to balance the debit side and credit side should have the same amount if your recordings were correct and then then the information will be transferred to financial statements now the example of a financial statement of income that is showing the performance of the business are you making a profit so this indicates if your business is doing good and the next one is the balance sheet which shows the position of the business to say if you are to sell this business today how much it's worth the net worth of the business so with that being said Thank you very much for this short presentation that you have been watching here and thumbs up, give us a like, also subscribe to my channel so that you will be getting some of this content as I'm going to go in depth about everything back to transaction, back to source document, how we record in the books of first entry. From our side, laugh and learn with Freddy, thanks.